Kementerian Pertahanan Rusia merilis perkembangan operasi militer khusus di Ukraina selama 24 jam terakhir. Kamis tanggal 17 Maret, juru bicara Kemenhan Rusia Mayor Jenderal Igor Konashenkov menyebut pihaknya terus merangsek masuk Kiev ibu kota Ukraina. Pada malam tanggal 16 Maret rudal presisi tinggi mengirimkan serangan udara ke gudang amunisi di Sarni, wilayah Rovnenskaya, fasilitas penyimpanan dengan rudal dan amunisi, termasuk rudal untuk kompleks taktis Tokau, dihancurkan, kata Maijen Igor. The grouping of troops of the Lugansk People's Republic conducted successful hostilities against Ukrainian nationalists from several directions inside Severodonetsk and Trubezhne during the night. Units of the Donetsk People's Republic are continuing offensive to capture Marinka, Slavne and Slatka. The advance was four kilometers. On the evening of March 16, high-precision missiles delivered an airstrike on ammunition storage in Sarny, Rovninskaya region. Storage facilities with the missiles and ammunition, including missiles for the .u tactical complex, were destroyed. In total, over the past day, aviation and air defense of the Russian airspace forces shot down one Ukrainian helicopter Mi-24 and one Mi-8, as well as 12 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles, including three Bayraktar TB-2. Operational, tactical and army aviation hit 46 military assets of Ukrainian armed forces. Among them, 11 anti-aircraft missile systems, including S-300 battalion, one multiple launch rocket system, three command posts, one electronic warfare station, seven ammunition depots and 18 areas of military equipment concentration. In total, 181 Ukrainian aircraft and helicopters, 172 unmanned aerial vehicles, 170 anti-aircraft missile systems, 1,379 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 133 multiple launch rocket systems, 514 field artillery and mortars, as well as 1,168 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. The Russian Defense Ministry continues to study documents received from employees of Ukrainian laboratories on the implementation of military biological programs by the United States and its NATO allies on the territory of Ukraine. Russian specialists of nuclear, biological and chemical protection troops have studied original documents revealing details of the implementation of a secret project by the United States in Ukraine to study ways of transmitting diseases to humans through bats at a laboratory in Kharkov. I want to emphasize that according to the documents, these studies were carried out in Kharkov on a systematic basis and under the direct supervision of specialists from the United States for many years. Within the American project, the Harkov Institute of Veterinary Medicine studied wild birds as a way for the transmission of highly pathogenic avian influenza. At the same time, the conditions were assessed under which the transmission processes can become uncontrollable, cause economic damage and create food security risks. New documents on the export of a large amount of human biomaterials from the territory of Ukraine to the United Kingdom and other European countries will be presented. In the near future, we will show another set of documents received from Ukrainian employees of biological laboratories and present the results of their assessment.